Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. That Footies SBC has returned. For the first time in FC24, the beloved 85 times 10 is in the SBC section. Now, of course, it's just a taste of what we really are wanting with this 85 times 10 because it's not unlimited repeatable, but it is a nice start. And it, of course, is nice because it's also making our investments go up a lot in price. Yes, guys, we're talking about team of the season cards. These aren't fodder ones that I have here, but a lot of TOTS cards are going up, and today might be one of the days where we look to sell them. They're going even higher than we thought because of all the SBCs requiring them. We're going to talk about that today and more SBCs coming today that could make those cards go up again with it being a Sunday. And guess what? Probably another icon player pick coming today along with more player SBCs. There's a lot to break down today. If you're here for it, drop a thumbs up on the video and of course subscribe if you are new. Let's start by looking at that evolution content yesterday on Saturday. Of course, it is all based around the silver cup that is going on right now in objectives. Friday, we had the footy silver attacker one and two. And yesterday on Saturday, we had the footies silver defender one and two evolutions. Guys, after seeing this, now I'm not wanting to play the silver cup just yet because it makes us think that we would also be getting a silver midfielders evolution one and two, you'd think. Maybe coming today or in the next day or two, which might make it worth waiting just another extra day or so before getting into that cup just so you might have a little bit better cards to use. Now, of course, this one is giving some pretty decent play styles for silver cards. Of course, you got anticipate block slide tackle plus along with some weak foot boosts, jockey regular pinged pass and intercept regular play style. Some of the cards that you can actually create from this with the low rating, right? Being a silver card, technically, some of the stats look pretty good. What you have to really look for here is a pace maximum that is 70 somewhere in the high 70s range because that's kind of what we're looking for here right that's going to give you the bi biggest advantage biggest advantage when you're playing in a silver game mode where a lot of the players are going to be pretty slow anyway find somebody who you want to use and try out because again it's max chemistry in that mode I have a Tamizi. Look at that. I bet this card, if it's tradable in my club, is one that I should sell because there's a lot of cards that are going up a bunch in price, as you would expect. How much is Tamizi? This has been a very popular Evo card for the whole year. He is 7,000 coins right now according to the footbin machine so either i'm gonna do that evolution and have one of the best center mids slash center defensive mids that i can use in the game as a defender um but i also may want to save that until the potential footy silver midfielder comes out so yet again check your clubs for midfielders check your clubs for defenders because of course they are going up in price silvers are just crazy right now they're probably going to be at their peak prices for the next couple of days as a lot of people those who are going to play in that cup mode. As I was reading some of the comments on yesterday's video, some of you guys like it, some of you guys do not. I completely understand both sentiments on liking it and not liking it, but I would say maybe wait a couple days, at least check your club, right? Check your club for silvers and wait a couple days before starting that cup if you wanna make it maybe just a little bit easier because of the evolutions that you could have with better stats. So that was the Evo content yesterday. Now let's get to the SBCs because that's where it's really kicking off. And let's go to the player SBC section first and talk about, hey, I'm going to say it, maybe one of the best footy player SBCs of the entire promo, Yaya Toure. He's got four playstyle pluses, 97 rated, a really big stat boost, and... I don't know. This kind of is like that big tier, higher tier SBC that we were looking for, but it's not even that expensive, guys. Also, when you look at his stats, you're like, hmm, 99 physical is great. A lot of his stats are in the low to mid 90s, which I think some people may be a little bit frustrated with. But to be completely honest, this Yaya Toure is kind of the same thing as the Timo Werner that we had last week, right? He's just got that aura. He's got one of those player builds and he's just a player in game that plays above his stats i have not used a yaga Toure card in a really long time but i know a bunch of people have just evolved versions of him from his fantasy fc item and this card i think is still better than most of those evos and he's really easy to do as well. Only nine squads, pretty easy to complete. I think right now he's coming in on footbin right around 800,000 coins, which of course with the craft, with the 8510 and the 8410, it should be pretty easy to get done. So it's really a W for me. You look at the upvote to downvote ratio, 1,400 upvotes to 81 downvotes on the card and then 500 to 50 
on the upvote to downvote ratio on the SBC. So really, it's a big W because it's a big name hero, one of the biggest name heroes in the game, Yaya Toure. He is very meta, always in game like we mentioned. And it's just kind of a CDM that you can do. Honestly, if he was a center back, he would be a decent card as well. But again, you look at the play styles that the card has. He's got, of course, the intercept plus, the anticipate and bruiser. He's got press proven, which is nice, and incisive pass. He does not have relentless. What's his stamina? Okay, he's got 99 stamina. You're probably fine. But he also has power shot, dead ball, and finesse. So you could rip a finesse or a power shot with his Yaya from the midfield. That just sounds like a very, very fun card. Maybe I wish that he had one or two more passing players. Play styles that would probably help him out as a midfielder but what a great sbc especially for such a big hero in this game we absolutely love that i mean if i was thinking of how much this yaya toure card would be on the market looking at some of the other prices of players that are in this team three like alaba's 300k but a company's 900k almost a million and rio ferdinand's 3.2 i know they're not direct comparisons but I feel like this Yaya Toure, if he was on the market right now, especially with how difficult it is to pack footies, he'd be around this much or maybe a little bit more. So I feel like this is a very well-priced SBC, very easy to craft, of course, with the state of the menus. There's really not a whole lot else to say here except W, GG's EA. It's not a crazy expensive SBC, right? We have Eto, we have Bong, um, Bucho Gueno for that, and maybe more is coming, but... That's really solid. So GG's DEA from that one. We also had another player SBC yesterday, Sydney Leroux, a United States women's striker. The thing that I noticed about this card is, yes, it's cheap. Yes, it's 96 rated. She has a lot of play styles. Play styles and play style pluses. Just the quantity is there on this card. So if you want to get that one done, she's five-star, four-star, press-proven aerial for a five-foot-six player, but she does have power shot and rapid. It's a fun one if it means something to you. Now... The real SBCs yesterday, guys, the upgrade packs. We were hoping for that unlimited repeatable 84 times 10. I really was. It just wasn't on the cards, I guess. And the thing that I'm a little bit disappointed about is they didn't even upgrade the number of 84 times 10s that we can do. They kept it at five per day. So that's a bit of a disappointment, to be completely honest. I was hoping for 10 or unlimited, of course, because of the price of Eto, the 92 plus picks that we would have loved to have just done on repeat. I still think we're going to be able to do the 92 plus picks virtually on repeat with the 81 plus picks that we have out again when the 82 pluses come out it'll be a lot easier through the rest of the week so thankfully the 81 pluses only have one day left cannot wait to see these go away but 84 times 10 five times a day is very solid now what saved the fact that the 84 10 is not unlimited repeatable or even 10 times repeatable is the 85 times 10 and honestly guys this price I mean, maybe if you look back to previous years, it kind of puts it in the correct context. The last time that we had an 85 times 10 SBC released during footies, like for the first time, last year, the very first time this SBC was released, it was an 84 and an 86 rated squad. And even like the third time that it was released, it was an 88 rated squad, right? It was. It took three times for them to release this to get it down to about 60,000 coins, which is what it is right now. The 8510 is only an 86 rated squad, which is 66,000 coins. It was 100 or 130K last year for the first time. So this is honestly a W. And I'm going to open the very first one right here because this would be my first 85 times 10 of FC24. Let's get it cooked up. Let's open it up and see how good it is. But again, like I said, this is kind of like the first taste of something amazing. We know the 85 times 10 unlimited is coming. It's not probably going to be for a couple of weeks yet, but this is the SBC that we have come to know and love. This is kind of like the upper echelon of upgrade packs on this game. We are starting with a team of the year, Trent moments and a 90 rated thunderstruck uh little that's a bit unfortunate that's pretty average to be honest i had 585s in there and so that's a little bit mid that's nothing to write home about but we love that the 85 times 10 is back that was a nice kind of solace yesterday after the 84 times 10 wasn't unlimited repeatable like we mentioned so honestly it's there yes it's only one time repeatable but at least we have it this is always the start right i even think they might have done this last year as well they dropped the 84 times 10 multiple times per day then they drop 185 times 10 and probably next week the 84 times 10 maybe goes away and the 85 times 10 times three might be what we get so we know it's just the start it just me just means one step closer to the 85 times 10 unlimited repeatable can't wait until we get to that 
of course. So with that, the footies crafting on the menus continues now. You've got basically six of the 84 or 85 times 10 packs you can do each and every single day. The 92 plus picks are unlimited, of course. Now you have a Yaya Toure SBC to go into as well, and you've got still the 81 plus player pick to be crafting in and out of if you want to get that done. So the 92 plus, after seeing the price of Eto and also seeing the Yaya Toure that has come out, I'm so glad that I've kind of in my mind committed to doing these 92 pluses this week instead of Eto, right? That was one of the things that I was waiting for. I don't know if I can finesse one of these today on the video really, really fast. Maybe. I probably don't have enough specials in the club, but um, I'm really glad that I waited to decide on Eto until we saw what the 84 times 10 and 85 10 situation was going to be yesterday because now I'm really happy that I kind of was locked in on the idea of ripping through the 92 plus picks all week long and just you know, going forward on those and trying to get 99 Messi, trying to get some of the insane cards from this instead of doing Eto, especially without an unlimited 84 times 10. So I'm pumped to grind these all week long. I know you guys have been doing these. I get tweeted like every 10 minutes, somebody else packing a sick pull from uh, from a 92 plus pick. Like, look at this right here. Boom. One of my latest mentions, Cristiano Ronaldo 99 from this thing. So let me know down below who the best pull is for you out of this 92 plus pick because I know you guys are grinding them. It is the best player pick of footies so far. Now, because the craft is absolutely cooking with the SBCs once again, yes, we got to talk about fodder and team of the season cards specifically because this is the big investment that we made once again this past week. Guys, our daily YouTube video, Dewsbury Hall Check, he is 44,000 coins. Tots cards yesterday went from 34K. I'm so glad last night in the video we talked about buying Tots cards in that low mid 30K range. They went from the low 30s all the way up to 47 thousand coins with the help of the 84 times 10 being five times repeatable again and the 85 times 10 coming out with that tots requirement you had all of these tots cards going like 47k absolutely bonkers tots cards everywhere were flying i mean guys this is what we were looking for this is even better than what we were looking for in terms of we i thought that these tots cards were only going to go to like 42k 40 to 41k 42k and here we are right now them being down four to five thousand coins a card from where they were they're going to go back up today with the icon pick coming back today this is kind of the beginning of our sell window you could have even sold yesterday too that would have been a fine time to sell some of the fodder tots cards for sure but i think after content today you have another opportunity and another window to start selling a few of these obviously i've sold a lot of team of the seasons but these are meta cards used for weekend league teams and not really necessary ones for doing sbcs right araujo 70k saliba 70k these are all cards that are going for more than the fodder price of tots i still have a lot of my fodder tots investments here that I ha have not listed up too many of yet. You can see I've got a bunch more Araujos too, and I've probably got another page worth of regular team this season. I'll start listing those up today after content, Monday and Tuesday. So it's not like you have to sell the TOTS cards today, but today is kind of the beginning of the window. Even if you bought like TOTS moments, how much are these? These are probably banging as well. Oh my goodness, these are insane. They're, they're also like 39,000 coins. That's phenomenal. They were like five, six, seven thousand 7,000 coins cheaper than the regular TOTS cards, and they're almost as expensive as regular TOTS. That is unbelievable. So Todd's cards were a huge investment once again this week. I think your sell time is between today on Sunday and Tuesday. Got to get them out before Wednesday though, right? Of course, we know that. Now we're talking about other parts of the fodder market. If you're wanting to do a daily trade opportunity, guess what? 84s, they're your best friend from 1.2K yesterday to 2.7 on this fish lock card. Let's check one more 84 just to make sure that that wasn't an outlier here. We go on Labatka from 1.2. Okay, up to 2,000 coins. So it looks like all the 84s were at 2K or above, meaning you can probably get some sales for around 2 to 0.2 to 2.3K. So that is lovely. 85s would be another one to watch. You get them on minimum bid price at like 2.3. Uh, these went to 4K? That's got to be cap. Let's click on Millie Bright. Did she go to 4K or was that just Bono? I mean, they at least went to three and a half. Yeah, so 84s and 85s, as expected, once again, just like clockwork, buy them before content, list them up after content, and you should be able to sell them for like 800 to 1,000 coins, maybe even 1,500 coins above what you bought them at if you get them at the low prices on bid. And that is easy easy coins because there's more SBCs to craft today, guys, of course, when we're looking into the footy Sunday content. Before we get there, though, I do want to just hover over the footies team three prices really fast because we have some of them that have dropped a lot. Usman Dembele, 3.4 mil. 
You've got Socrates is 500k. Sam Kerr was 2.9 last night. She's now 2 million coins flat. But you have other ones like Rio Ferdinand, who's still 3.2 mil, holding very, very well in terms of the value. Their company still around a million coins as well. That's what he was last night. He went from 1.1 down to a mil, back up to 1.1, and he's kind of just been right around that 1 million flat coin value since. I'd have to imagine that these cards would still not be the best to hold on to. If you want to buy one, try it out, or if you want to do a quick flip situation, you saw that graph go up and down. Trade inside of that, sure, go for it. Now, the footies team, two cards, these ones are doing really good. I mean, look at the price of Lewandowski. He was just still 700K yesterday. Literally yesterday night, 750 and now he's 900,000 coins. So a lot of these footies cards are starting to take off. You even see Graham Hansen being 6.1 mil. Trinity Rodman, 700K. She was 580,000 coins. Uh, Rolfo as well was 1.4, and she's now 1.7. So some more of those rare cards from footies team two are really starting to take off, which is phenomenal. Uh, Benzema was 350. He's now, you know, slowly creeping up to 400,000 coins. So big rises there on team two. I would have to imagine those probably continue to go. So that's kind of the market situation with what is going on in terms of some prices there. Just wanted to cover that really quick. But let's talk today on Sunday. There's more to craft coming today. Of course, if you want to do these 93 plus picks, these refreshed yesterday. But I think there's going to be a new icon player pick coming today that would be the hope now is it going to be like a crazy upgrade off of this one i doubt it because last week all they did was add team two icons from footies into this so what are they going to do this week probably just add in team number three so we'll have 93 plus grades of the game footies team one two or three from it but of course team three with the icons you would have yourself rio ferdinand you'd have yourself socrates petter check and Smith to pack from it. So not insane cards from Footy's Team 3, but maybe EA would increase the rating. Maybe they'd go 94+. plus. I don't know if they'd be down to dabble with that. I don't know how many cards that would take out of the equation of greats of the game, but I think they're still going to keep greats of the game icons in it. I mean, I would want them to, right? Of course, you still have the Dino. You still have the R9, the Zidane, and all those cards that are really a chase from this pick. Just be beware. There's going to be a lot of duplicates. We saw this happen last week. If you're doing this, you're you're kind of just like when you're doing the 92 plus pick, you're shooting for the stars. You're doing this player pick, hoping for one of those top tier players. You're probably going to get duplicates. Just be aware of that ahead of time as you go and craft it. I would imagine it's going to be around the same value, somewhere around that 100 something thousand coin range, because this icon flick pick is an 88 and a 90, which equals out to 150K. Probably going to be whatever refreshes today in here, something like that, unless they change it up a lot. But I just think they're going to add team three of the footies cards in there and re-release a very similar to SBC like this one, which is going to make our fodder do good, make those prices go up, but also be a fun SBC to craft and chase after the top tier icons in this game. Now, player SBC wise, we're expecting more of that. Interestingly enough, we already have the leak for Sadio Mane, right? We've talked about that. We've now had a Yaya SBC. We, of course, had the Eto SBC. Sadio Mane was also leaked as a part of one of those original leak posts earlier in the weekend heading into footies team three but we have a few more names to throw into the mix here these might be names that actually are released during the week also could be could be one of them that is released today too peter crouch has been added to come as a footies player soon perfect timing as i've just evolved the version of peter crouch to be 99 shooting so hopefully this one is at that same level because I'm going to use the Evo one instead. And this one's probably going to be 95 or 96 rated as the prediction of the stats show. And he's going to be super duper cheap, right? I can just see that happening already because that's how footies has been. So that's one leaked player SBC right there. The other one is really interesting to me. Cordoba is added to come as a footies player soon. Cordoba just had a new card a couple of weeks ago. Like this card was released on June 28th. That's crazy. Is he the first greats of the game icon or hero? to get a new version inside of footies. I haven't done all the homework to double check on that, but it feels like he might be because that's kind of wild that he just had a promo card in great to the game. It's still some people are probably using 60, 70,000 coins. I'm sure a lot of us have packed him as well from some of those other upgrade pack gamble picks that we've had, but now he's getting another version according to foot sheriff. So I'm guessing that's an SBC. It's going to be coming soon as well. I just find that really, really interesting because he just had a version. Um, so yeah, we might double check the facts on that one. But then of course we have Sadio Mane who was leaked. This could be 
a banger. It really could. I remember using this Foot Birthday Mane card. I remember using this 89 rated version as well. And uh, Mane's always got some sort of special sauce in game as well. Kind of like how we were describing the Yaya Toure. Mane's just got something sick about his card too. I mean, imagine Power Shot, Quick Step, Finesse, and Technical. Maybe EA would go crazy with the playstyle pluses on a Sadio Mane card. We haven't had a top tier. You know, we've had Eto, we've had Butro Guanyo. We haven't had a player SBC that's like a current player with incredible, incredible stats like one of those icons that we mentioned. Sure, we had Yaya, which is nice, but I'm talking like, remember the Furlan Mendy and the Griezmann in FIFA 22? Like, if we're all wishing this Raheem Sterling or the Ruben Loftus Cheek was 97 or 98 rated, they could do that with a Sadio Mane. That's what I hope for, at least, out of a Sadio Mane SBC. So we will see if that happens, but we'll definitely get a player SBC today for sure. Now, other than that, what else will we see today on Sunday? I'm not expecting a whole lot. Again, we mentioned maybe the footies evo midfielder we could see that for the silvers that's very possible as well maybe an evo that is you know unrelated to the silver cards would be kind of nice of course they gave us the footies evo upgrade which for a lot of us still don't have players that fit it um but i wouldn't expect any major surprises today to be honest we'll just have to see what ea end up cooking up and really, really hope for a good icon player pick today. Really good opportunities to sell your TOTS cards once again. And hopefully just a W day to grind and craft through the menus and pack some footies cards. And of course, have a chance at doing some fun SBCs at the exact same time. Another 85 times 10 will be able to craft today. Five more 84 times 10s as well. So honestly... It could be worse. It could be worse. It's a W grind right now. We're going to end on this pack here in the video. It is a Canadian left back. I've packed, yes, Lawrence. Is it a double walkout? It is not. All right, we'll take it, though. That is more fodder for more 92-plus picks. Again, let me know down in the comments who you've packed from that SBC. I know a lot of you guys have been tweeting me, but I want to know. I want to hear. And uh, yeah, that's going to be the video for me today, guys. I will see you guys in a video tomorrow. It's going to be a big day on Monday as well. 82 plus pick probably coming back, but a whole lot of FC 25 news. And we'll touch on that in tomorrow's video as well. But if you enjoyed today's video, drop it up to the comment below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. Have a great Sunday. I will see you guys in a video tomorrow. It's been Nathan for the count. See you there. Peace out.